So uh, Kareem says, uh, so he has a colleague that runs a 2007 iMac, which seems to be on its last legs. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd agree with that. <laughs> yeah. uh, he wants a super clean setup with no dongles other than needed wires uh, to power the screen. Uh, and wants to use it for him and his family as long as possible, so some future-proofing is somewhat part of his plan. He doesn't do any heavy lifting in terms of video editing other than the odd drone shots. Do you have any suggestions? Will any of them work for him as long as he gets the largest storage option? So here's my take on this, Dave. Um, I think the basic Mac Studio with the N1 Max should be enough machined for basic use. Uh, the only thing that I would add, Dave, is that the um, the default con configuration has a, a relatively small, in my opinion, SSD. Um, so I'd up it to um, from 512 to 1 gig, um, <clears throat> or 1 terabyte, sorry, um, which will bring the cost up to $2199. Um, and that's how I have my MacBook Pro and my Mac Mini, which are both Intel uh, currently, set up. Though then I thought, you know what? Speaking of the Mini, you may want to consider a Mac Mini with the M1. Um, adding RAM to 16 gigabytes and the SSD to one terabyte would run you $12.99, so you can save some coin. And the other thing is check the refurb store. The thing is, when I last looked in the refurb store, the, uh, the Mac Mini configurations were kind of wimpy. The problem is that in the refurb store, you get what you get. You can't uh, configure it, uh, or customize it. So that was my spin. Um, and he actually got back to me and said, okay, thanks for the advice. Um, the only reason that, um, I don't want to consider the mini, which kind of surprised me is that the mini, or at least the current mini doesn't have an SD card slot. And apparently that's a requirement of his, uh, his colleague, um, that's a thousand dollar slot. Then. Yeah, I think you could get one a lot cheaper than a grand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, so you should be able to get a USB C to SD card, you know, adapter thing for. I mean, if you so, buy so that's my take. I mean, the studio, I think, though, is just in general, is too much machine. Uh, I, I'm not going to consider one because, you know, again, it, it seems to be too much machine for your average user. Whereas I think the mini is more mainstream for most people. At I, least it is for me. I don't you know, I still with got that. the 2018 one and you know, it, it does what I need. If you're going to get a dock, most docks, uh, many docks, certainly many of your options will have an SD card reader in them. So I, like you can definitely get a Mac mini and add an SD card reader. If not, essentially for free because you're adding a dock anyway, certainly for far less than a thousand bucks. And you know, your comment about the refurb store, not having what you wanted. My advice to you is refresh that screen. They, <laughs> they, they change all day, every day. And mm -hmm. while we're recording this, which happens to be Friday, April 1st, which is Apple's birthday. Happy birthday. Apple. It's also Puck's birthday. He's five today. Yeah, that's our cat. Uh, you can see him at Puck the star on Instagram. Uh, he, the, um, they have a, you know, the, the, the maxed out Mac mini with an M1. It's got 16 gigs of Ram and a two terabyte SSD. And you can get that for oh, 1439. So for me. I, yeah, that would work for you. <laughs> if it doesn't <laughs> no Mac mini, is going to work for you. Cause this is as good as it gets. Yeah. And so check that or use refurb tracker.com refurb dash tracker.com, which will alert you. You can. You can really get granular with your settings, and if you if you understand how their lookups work, you could even create a lookup for a product that is not yet in the refurb store, uh, which I've done with like the I think I, that's how I found this iMac in the refurb store was um, was by by setting up a thing, and it was like boom, they're there. All right, I'm in. I so. got to I got to agree a hundred percent with with John and the approach you took it's almost like Kareem's buddy is asking the wrong question. And so giving the answer, yes, the base model would be fine, but that's the wrong question. I think that your approach on that was exactly right, John. Um, I, and I think this is problematic because it's Apple's fault. There is no uh, M1 Studio that's an M1 uh, Pro. 
There's the max and the ultra, so there's a gap. There's no M1 Mac Mini that's an M1 Pro. So there, there's, a, there's a hole, and I don't understand why that hole's there, and I bet that that's going to... I can only think that's going to end up in the in the Mac Mini in the end. Uh, but he specifically said no dongles by saying a dock, not a dongle. Didn't put a dongle on you, right? You, you <laughs> technically answered the question right, Dave, right? You gave well, not a dongle, but for 300 bucks, now you can get the machine that you actually need and you pocketed $700, even if you don't go to the refurb store. Right. Fair. However, you had a, and I, I agree with both of you, like the, the Mac Studio, the only box that it checks for Kareem's friend is the future proofing box because by golly, what <laughs> he's describing he needs is not what the Mac studio currently offers. So definitely there's some future proofing there, probably too much of it. Uh, but you know, like depending on, you know, how much money he has to spend, maybe he needs to burn dollars to, you know, f for tax reasons or whatever. Like, so if so, yeah, Certainly if you got dollar be... bills to light on fire, you go, girl. <laughs> you go. Yeah. Anytime I tell my accountant, I got to figure out, you know, where to get some deductions. He'll say, would you like me to send you an invoice? You can pay me. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, there is MacGeekGov.com slash premium as well. If uh, if you're having any trouble in that regard, we are very, very happy and fortunate to uh, to be able to accept your contributions there.